Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your Virgo reading. Now, I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. I did. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about it, okay? So, basically, I um, went to, um, I sat on a book panel for Mama Jones, um, Jim Jones' mother. She wrote a book, okay? And it's about romance and love, all right? So, um, it was a really nice event. And, you know, my twin got the DJ, too, because, you know, he, me, he nice as hell, y'all, with it. But um, the event overall was amazing, okay? So, the thing is, right, that got me really, really thinking. Whew, let me tell y'all the name of this book real quick. But it got me really thinking because it, the question that was asked was, what is romance to you and so i had to really think about that okay and the question is what is romance to you and i was like as i'm starting to learn what i want and what i like romance to me seems to be more like emotional intimacy all right so y'all pretty much know my history for all my new people tuning in um i've been in a relationship with someone since I was about 17. We got married at 25. We divorced at 36 and 37. All right, so we, um yeah, it was 37. So out of that whole time, I've never celebrated a wedding anniversary. Um, we didn't even have rings. We had rings at one point, but I lost mine and he never wore his. I've never um, experienced kissing, um, real intimacy, let's just put it that way. And I started to really discover who I am about four, it's been about five years now and I've been on this healing journey myself, okay? So to not be able to ever experience that or ever know what it's like and um, it was a little triggering, so I can say that. I think the whole night I was kind of triggered. I'm not exactly sure why. I think I have an idea of it, but um, I'm still, you know, working through it so I can face it. Because y'all know I'm always like, let's face the mirror, right? And um, But when I think about it, to never be celebrated or to be genuinely loved, um it definitely can create all types of blockages in your life um, and in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. And um, it's like, it's it's been a long road coming. It's like, I can't even really explain it. All I know is to be able to go through life in that manner and to operate for so long in that manner, how the fuck did I do it? And now to be at the age of 42 and really starting to see what it should be like or um, what I want is, is kind of like, you know, wow. And I really didn't get to experience being... Um, someone being emotionally intimate with me until um, I met this guy. And that was the first time I've ever felt appreciated and loved. Um, he was a soulmate, but he was not the person I was supposed to be with because it was still some aspects of that situation that um, I felt was too much similar to my ex, which is basically the control factor. But when it came down to him showing me public affection or just when we're laying there, just, you know, rubbing my face or admiring me or, you know, hugging me or kissing me, those type of things I've never experienced. And so many of us go through this stuff, especially as women, and we suppress and we accept all for the fact of what? Trying to force someone to love us it gives you something to think about right so that's why i get up here every single day for my virgos especially because you guys are my biggest collective and we all kind of share the same story story to some degree and i do what i do because i want to be able to help you guys to understand 
what it is to love yourself. And I believe that we accept those types of treatment because of our own lack of self-awareness and self-love. A lot of this goes back to childhood and probably way beyond that. Um, and we carry it over into our adult lives. So every time you tune in, that's why I always keep redirecting back to self, back to self, right? I've been on this healing journey for five years. I've been on the Twin Flame journey for a year and a half. And the Twin Flame journey is just a, a journey of oneness with yourself. <laughs> and I'm loving every minute of it. So, however, as you, as you view, don't just listen to just try to get the, the dirt on what your person's doing. Listen to evolve, okay? All right, y'all. So make sure you flip the roles as you see fit. You know who plays what in your story. I don't. Please use the spirit of dis discernment as you're viewing this video. Tap into your higher self. Breathe in and breathe out if you need to. Because it could be some triggering stuff that's going to take place in this reading. I don't know what spirit has for us today. Take what you need. You leave what you don't need. Please, I encourage you to keep comments positive. I am a healing and manifestation channel. We don't need none of that bullshit over here, okay? Why? Because energy is very fluid. And even if you're feeling bad and you're vibrationally low, release it, okay? Because it's all about your evolution, all right? Now, I definitely appreciate every last one of you who are a part of my community who follow me. I've been getting messages. You guys, you've been following me and watching me since day one. So you've seen my growth and you've always been here supporting me. And I definitely appreciate each and every last one of you, okay? Thank you for all my new people. Subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram, all right? Now, I'm gonna set my intentions, then I'm gonna start. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to come in with you. Close the gates to anything that's not in alignment. Thank you for using me as a messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly. Thank you for closing all doors to any karmic en energies. And so it is. All right, y'all. So tell me what I need to see for Virgo. What is Virgo's energy? What is Virgo's energy? What you want me to speak on for today? Remember, flip the roles as you see fit, y'all. Cross watches, take it as if I'm speaking to you if it applies. Tell me what I need to see. I got the yin and yang card in the reverse. The angel of strength card in the upright position. And the broken heart in the reverse. So here we go. It's on the yin side. No. It's on the yang side, y'all. So on the yang side, it's about taking a more active approach, okay? I'm a more logical approach to everything, all right? This is about your new beginning. And um, if you haven't, apply more forceful energy to that task at hand. You got to be strong, okay? With the strength card coming out, it's a lot of changes that are coming up in your life. You need to be able to have the willpower, the strength, and the confidence to overcome your obstacles, um, whatever's triggering you, whatever broke your heart and all, because this is about your healing with the broken heart in the reverse position. Okay. So forgiveness, your healing. Um, somebody even may be reckon, trying to reconcile that with you, but we'll see. Show me what my collective is taking a more active approach about or what they should be. The death card in the reverse position, closing out a cycle, going through this transformation, leaving behind what no longer serves you, okay? Yes, do it fast, <laughs> okay? This is fast movement. This could be communication too as well, but if you wanna see some progress, get to it. Show me what I need to see. And that could be past energy for some of you because I got a three card spread and it's um, past, present, future, usually. Okay. The lovers came out. 
right so make a, a healthy decision or a choice here with the lover's card coming up in an upright position my lover's card also represents marriage someone you may have a strong bond with a strong connection with um and of course as you see it could be my twin flame card the lover's card also represents adam and eve so that is the very supposedly first marriage divinely ordered right now I want to read the lover's tarot, um, meaning, one second, from the, uh, it represents love, harmony, relationship, values, alignment, and choices. In its pure, purest form, the lover's card, uh, them stupid pop-ups. <laughs> The lover's card represents conscious connections and meaningful relationships. Okay, you have a soul honoring connection with a loved one. You may have found your soulmate or your life partner. All right, the lover's card is an open communication. It's about open communication and raw honesty. The lover's card can represent clear, um, about your clear values and beliefs, figuring out what you stand for on your philosophy. The lovers is about a choice. The lovers encourages you to unify due forces. You can bring together two parts that are seemingly in opposition to one another and create something whole, unified and harmonious. In every choice, there is an equal amount of advantage and disadvantage, opportunity and challenge, positive and negative. When you accept these dualities, you build the unity from which love flows. The lovers card is about pure harmony Okay, and pure love. All right, so let's see what's going on here. When someone did not offer you love with the Ace of Cups in a reverse position, they're coming in with an offer, or they're coming in Knight of Pentacles in an upright position. So they're taking a more active approach to this. They're coming in slow, okay, but it's steady. And what I'm seeing here is like, they're very cautious, okay? And there's definitely been some type of trials and tribulations when it has come to love. And this is why they move in very slow, all right? It's like, they do little subtle things, okay? And I want to be more active about that. Or that could be you. Show me about the Angel of Strength card. Eight of Cups. Okay, so somebody's walking away from something. We're thinking about it. Really, really heavily led to do it. That's what I'm hearing. Finding the strength and the power to leave what no longer serves them. Show me what I need to see. And that feels like that's energy right now. Like present moment. Yep, the devil. All right, so whew, let's see why the devil is here. Someone is walking away from a karmic relationship, addiction, something that makes them feel oppressed or dissatisfied. Let's see. Show me what I need to see. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Something that's not bearing fruit is what I just seen with that. Something that's not bearing any fruit, something that's not prosperous or, or it's, no gonna, it's not going to be any type of growth is what I see with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Y'all, the Ace of Pentacles is normally a very exciting card because it represents abundance and new opportunities and things. But when it's in the reverse, someone's feeling hesitant. So let's see. Let's see. What is the hesitancy about? It's like the universe is nudging you or your person here to go ahead and make these changes. What is the hesitancy about? Third party situation. Three of cups in a reverse position. 
next to the King of Swords. So whatever is happening here, someone may not be clicking well or don't wanna connect with someone. King of Swords, reverse energy. Okay, that's who may be coming in. All right, now with the King of Swords in a reverse position, it's like this person doesn't really operate in their truth or honesty. Just show me what I need to see. So it's some type of burden with the Ten of Wands. Someone feels burdened by something. Someone feels like it's too much of a responsibility and they're trying to find some type of strength here. Okay, it's too much weight on their shoulders when it comes to building some type of firm foundation. Four of Wands in the reverse. So, you know, Virgo, this could be you operating in your masculine energy or um, someone in your story. But however, when it comes to building this firm foundation or something reliable here, again, it's a hesitancy. What is the burden about? What is what is this person hesitating about? That double energy is definitely there. If they'll be successful with the six of wands. Will they be able to see the fruits of their labor? Yeah, someone here in your story, masculine energy is still coming in very heavy. Doesn't feel powerful. Doesn't feel like they'll be able to manifest this with the magician in the reverse. Okay, so this is why it's like usually with the Knight of Swords in the upright position, they're coming in, they're assertive, they're directed, determined to win. Reverse is like, mm, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm going to do this right. Show me what I need to see. What about the broken heart in reverse? The full card and the seven of wands. So again, someone's not taking the leap of faith or was just being reckless, being a fool, right? Non-committal. Seven of wands comes up. That's adversity, you know? That's conflict, that's competition. Um, and it seems to be the reason why. Whatever the adversity is, seven of wands, tell me about the seven of wands. This is why someone wasn't taking this leap of faith. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yep, Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. And this is explaining it all. It's They're all in the reverse. So this is where the lack of inspiration was coming from or is coming from and why someone isn't making an offer. Okay, or not coming in um, to reconcile, okay, with the Page of Cups in the reverse position. Because usually this is someone coming in, an opportunity, a new person, however, right? But because of whatever's happening here with the adversity and the conflict, the um, that's what the problem is. Show me, and that's been pretty much playing out in your story the last few days, right? Um, for the most part. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> yep, from a Queen of Cups in the reverse. So, whoever this Queen of Cups is in the reverse may be being very emotional. I'm talking about very codependent energy is what I'm feeling from this. And when I pull up the seven of wands, of course, it speaks of um, being challenged. Okay. And that's what's happening. You or your person here is being challenged um, by someone or something. Okay. Someone's fighting for um, shit. What came to me, their heart. Okay. Or someone may be even setting boundaries here with you. Or you may be setting boundaries with someone. So 
so that they can't come in. However, it resonates for you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This will require you to use your intuition. You definitely have to balance your intuition and your logic with this. Show me what I need to see. Because some of you just aren't really sure about this offer, or, you know, them coming in, because you're looking at it like this ninja is still coming in with the Queen of, with a uh with this little light offer. <laughs> So this Queen of Cups in the reverse could be someone that um, somebody could be married to this person or um, may have already established some type of foundation with this person. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. You know, even if it's down to kids, may have kids with this person. I got the Ten of Wands in the upright position. That's burden. Yep, four of Pentacles in the upright position. Holding on too tightly, thank you. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's, it's options. It's a lot of decisions that have to be made. It could be two feminine energies here that you're connected to or your person here, all right? So like I said, it could be you never know how you know how people roll man we got these entanglements and shit it could be um or it don't even have to be someone that they are intimately involved in or you are you know you could have two baby mothers you feel me you could have it could be your mother and a baby mother or wife and a baby mother or you know it don't necessarily have to be you or this person in a relationship with these two feminine energies and what I'm seeing is one is someone they may have had a really, a, you know, an emotional connection with. And the other one seems to be they thought they had they held some type of value, but they ended up being a queen of pentacles in reverse. So a uh, gold digger type energy, very selfish and self-absorbed. And of course, there's some decisions that have to be made because, of course, what well, is it's too many it's too many options, but all of the options seem to be just kind of like <sighs> not good options. Like the thing that just stood out to me on the card was the tornado. It's like all of them are going to create some type of storm. King of Swords in a reverse position. This person is, a, is I, and I said, a, it, what came to me was afraid, is afraid to stand up and to speak their honest to God truth. They don't know how to solve this problem. But it's like a decision has to be made. They want to reconcile with you. They want to fix it. But how? And that's what it's been playing out. It feels like for the longest time it's the how. And it requires what? Tapping into your intuition. Um, I feel like this person, you know, if they're there in your energy, they definitely are being more active or more um, proactive about the connection, but they still haven't ended. And that's why that death card came in the reverse. They still haven't closed out some type of karmic cycle that needs to close out. And it sounds like a lot of it has to do with them standing in their truth and in their integrity. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Okay. Show me what I need to see. All right, that's it. Why? Why do they have to keep their eyes on their targeted intention? Because someone is getting sidetracked. There's too many options. Not really sure which one to choose. Okay? With the Seven of Cups coming out. Same card. Because it's a decision that has to be made. And of course, 
you or this person is prone to some type of illusion. Um, and this is how they end up what choosing wrong, right? Making the making a bad decision. Uh, I feel like I just heard the universe is testing. Keep your eyes on the targeted. All right, so this says. So can you feel a rush of excitement whenever you think about your desire, occupation or activity or whatever, you know, you're planning? This is a signal that you're on the right path and this card reminds you to keep a steady eye on your goals. Continually re visualize that you are already that you already have what you want, okay? See yourself helping people or issues that are clear to your heart. Imagine that you have complete financial security, love, wealth, health, um, whatever it is that you desire, right? While you devote yourself to this important work. Any desires you have is viable as long as you stay focused upon it. The path to making your intention is reality, okay? May It may differ from your expectations, yet the outcome is likely to exceed your dreams. Know that the angels walk beside you throughout your journey. Keep the faith and keep going. All right, make a vision board, you guys. Um, and affirm daily that your dreams are already a reality. Okay, so keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Let me see something here, you guys. Stay optimistic here about what's happening because, again, the deception is there. And that's what it's kind of speaking of. This person has too many options, okay, and are prone to some type of illusion. And they have to stay on that target and their intentions on this, on this one particular option because it's going to lead to the overall goal, right? And, um, oh, sorry, somebody outside must be going into that laundry room. Um, let's see what the deception is. Sound like it was coming in the door real quick. I was like, <laughs> tell me about the deception. Someone is wearing a self false, uh, um, false self mask in this relationship. Show me what I need to see. Six of Pentacles. All right. So when it comes to being generous or or. That equal give and take or po equal power dynamics, someone's giving to two situations. Okay. Three of cups in a reverse. <clears throat> but what I'm seeing here is someone's not clicking well with the other person. Show me what I need to see here. with a queen of wands. So someone's not clicking well with a queen of wands in the reverse position. But the deception may be is that they're still giving to the connection even though there's no alignment. And Virgo, they may be giving you the bigger gift or you know how it is. It's not, a, it's not a, um even power dynamics, however that may be. They may be being generous to both, offering gifts, but it looks like one gift is bigger than the other. Or they could be giving this other person, but with the Three of Cups in the reverse, and this Queen of Wands in the reverse, it seems like they may be getting, you know, not as much. Let's just put it that way. Tell me what I need to see. Mm-hmm. So overall, with this nine of wands in the reverse position, it's like at this point of not being resilient, yeah, that's out the door. It's like somebody's being very stubborn in this situation or just plain on giving up. 
And with the Five of Pentacles in an upright position, it's just this feeling of, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and struggle and get through this on my own. You know, I'm going to deal with whatever I got to deal with here on my own. I'm going to weather this storm on my own. Okay? And just deal with what I got to deal with because I, I made my bed. Now I have to lay in it. That's that feeling I'm getting. Because I made my bed, I got to lay in this. I got to go ahead and still do what I got to do within this situation, even though there's no alignment. So it might be some type of obligation to this queen of wands in the reverse. It could be like, again, family. It could be a partnership. It could be, um, shoot, like, cho like I said, relationships, children involved, whatever it may be. Somebody is like, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and do what I got to do. Right. And just deal with this. Even though I'm, I got issues. I'm sad. This shit ain't really what I'm, I'm trying to do. And not telling anyone about it. It's like they're keeping it to themselves. Okay, you may need, not, may not even know it. You may sense something is off, but they're not speaking. So it feels like when they come to you, they still have this smile on their face. Or when they talk to you, they still seem like everything is good. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. This is why they come in so slowly and why they're doing everything at this at this slow pace. Okay. Mm. Let me give you guys some daily guidance for today. You know what I just heard this that. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Feather. Think first before you judge. Let's see what that's about. So examine the situation, okay? Overall is what I see with that. You know how sometimes society tricks us into a certain stance about things that you have to do something a certain way? So I don't know if this is for you or for this person, if you're cross-watching, but I feel like that's what it is. You know how sometimes society says, oh, you got to stay in that situation. Like um, when I was going through separation, my grandmother was like, you know, that's your spouse. You got just pray, you know, pray through it and, and everything, you know, will come together. God will help you. So you don't have to get a divorce, da, 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 even if it's toxic, right? Society tells you, you know, nowadays society like fuck it, divorce, right? But sometimes within your family structure, if you come in from devout uh, Christians and things like that, they're going to tell you to stay in the situation because it's your spouse, right? Um, or if you got children with someone, you got to be in a relationship with them. You got to marry them because you guys have a family type thing. And it feels like this is what it's about. Um, take a step back and just take some time to figure out. Um, it's not always clear at first. Instead of acting rashly, just take some time to examine the situation overall, you know, because it don't really got to be that heavy. And and I feel like that's for whoever's wearing this false mask. It's almost like someone made a promise to lift this person up almost. You understand? It's like, I'm, I promise you, I'm going to be there for you um, through this whole thing because you are who you are to me. And I have to do this. This is my obligation because this is the bed that I made. And I let you know, I got to do it. This is my obligation. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Like, I have to be with you because this is the obligation that I have to fulfill. Mm. I made a vow to you. I married you. You're having my baby. Now I have to be there with you to see this all the way through type energy is what I'm feeling. A 
I'm gonna pull from my Monology cards and then I'm gonna get ready to, to let y'all go because it, it's kind of late on this side of town, y'all. It's only like 1.16, but again, I've had a very long day, so I know y'all can kind of tell, but sorry. Y'all know I be still wanting to come talk to y'all. I was like, y'all always help, you know, bring me back balance, so show me what I need to see. Y'all make me happy. <laughs> Surrender to the divine, okay? Ugh. I can't even see that. That's probably blurry. But overall, it says surrender to the divine, full moon. All right. The full moon card says... Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Turn into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface. No matter when in the moon cycle you've pulled this card, matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes will come true. The odds are in your favor, as this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. You are going to get the answers you need. A wish you made may be about to come true, but it's make it or break it time. All right, there could be a sense of madness in the air. Just breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone to release the negative energy. All right, it's time to let go of the past and move on. The answers you need are coming your way, okay, before too long. All right, Virgo, the answers you need, they're coming soon, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.